Hi and welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about Microsoft OneNote and how to take notes. Um, this will be a video that's probably heavily based on my personal preference to taking notes, but I'll try to be more technical to show you the capabilities of OneNote as I go through. Um, if you find this useful, please do click on the like button, hit subscribe and tap the bell. It really does mean a lot to the channel. And with all that said, let's jump on over to Microsoft OneNote. Okay, so here we are just within um, my notebook for YouTube um, and I have a new section I've just created here with an untitled page on the right hand side. What I'm going to do is assume that you guys know some of the basics around Microsoft OneNote. If you do not, um, and this is kind of like an introductory to OneNote for yourselves, go check out my Microsoft OneNote playlist and um, it kind of covers off um, a quick tutorial on how OneNote works uh, and has a few other hints and tips uh, along the way. Um, but this video will assume that you know some of the basics around the application such as sections and pages. Um, but with that said, let's just jump on into this tutorial. So in this section, um, I have a blank page called um, untitled. So I haven't actually given this a page name yet and I'm just going to click into this title and give it a name. Um, this is going to be how to take notes. Okay so that is my uh, title to the page. Now with that said if you head over to the view tab on the ribbon you can hide the page title and it will remove it from the page altogether. Um, if you do that however um, it will also remove the page title from your section here on the right hand side. So I'm going to leave that in place. Um, I would actually like to see that that title exists in my page. And the next thing that you're going to want to do before potentially even taking any notes is decide what kind of page size you want. Will you be printing the page? Um, so therefore you might want to set the page size, uh, the paper size to A4 or A3 if you ever intend to print your notes. Um, if you would like um, to actually put some grid lines behind your page to make it easier to actually take notes um, and thing, you know, potentially even change the color. All of these things can be found in the view tab here. So for me personally, I like to put in some medium lines um, on, on there and I also like to change my page size to A4 um, and then I can close off my paper size. So all of these options here are within the view tab. Now I have an A4 page with um, ruled lines and as you can see I can click inside of these and actually type away or if I'm using the tablet I can use a stylus or uh, the Apple Pencil for example just to actually write directly onto the tablet uh, and put those notes directly onto my page. Um, with that being said, and if you're using it on your desktop or you wanting to use a keyboard to type out your notes uh, on a laptop or anything like that, um, then in which case you just click where you'd like to actually start taking a note. Then um, actually start typing. So I'm just going to say that this is a test note and what you'll notice is the grey container um, that contains your note is expanding as you type your text. With that understanding you can actually navigate over to the right hand side here and drag um, the container to the far right hand side um, so now the container is the width of your paper. Um, that's just a nice to have. If you do not do that um, eventually it will get to the end there and it will just go down the line. Um, but for me personally I like to just make sure I have everything set as I like it. Um, and I can press enter and it will obviously just go down uh, a line. And what I can then do is um, basically add something like a, a checklist in place. So if for example this test note here um, I have a list of actions then actually I could just say action 1 um, action 2 and action 3 and then highlight these come into my home tab here and choose to make them bullet points right so I can um, basically say okay well these are the three things that I'd like to do or if I wanted to put numbers in I can do that and those things are found just over in the home tab with that being said however if you'd like to um, actually turn them into a to do um, so they basically have a check box then if you press Control one or click on this option here from the tags section, 
all of a sudden um, I can remove my numbers and I have instead these checkboxes which let me tick them off as they are done. So you can create these notes that are now more interactive. Okay. Um, and with that done, I can continue to go down. If you press return twice, it will remove the checkbox and then press return again and it will just get you down um, an extra line so you can continue taking notes. Um, so I can then say this is another test note and press enter again. And this time I would like to make some bullet points and just say um, this is point one, point two, and point three. Okay, so I can now obviously create notes like this. Now, the other thing that you can bear in mind again, just double tap the return there, and it will remove that from uh, remove the bullet points so you do not have to continue. Um, I can go to the insert tab now, and let's say I would like to insert. Um, let me think, what do I want to insert? Let's say I would like to insert a picture. So I can go to my pictures and I can find um, an, on this particular image just here and I can drag this around and you can see how as I do this um, it splits my text. So it, what you have to do is actually grab this image and um, just remove it completely from your document. So in order to do that just select the image, hit delete um, and this time you want to actually click outside of your original container and click insert go to pictures, find the picture you'd like to insert. Now it is within its own container. You can line it up. Um, so you can basically now have it side by side your, with your text rather than having to um, have it within your container uh, where it messes around with your formatting. Okay, so that's how you kind of go around about taking various different notes. Now, um, one of the things I have already pre-set up on my um, OneNote is the page size and the ruled lines, the text size and the text um, font itself. Um, and those things are done um, in the settings section of Microsoft um, OneNote. So every time I go to a new page, um, so for example, if I just add a new page, we can see that it is a ruled page um, with those lines already in place. And all I have to do is now just decide this particular page size. Um, so for me, this is now going to become an A4 page, right? So I don't have to mess around with settings all that much. Um, but also all of my fonts are already predefined. Um, and you do to do that, you just literally go to the file section, go to options, um, navigate down to, um, actually no, it's in the general tab just here, this very first tab. And default font and then from here you can just choose what you'd like your default font to be the size and the color so every time you go to make more notes um, there's a default preset in to Microsoft OneNote for you okay um, now that's one container and obviously the image is its own little container if I come outside of this container just over here, I can start making another note. So I can just freely type some text. Now um, I can say here is another note. Okay, and press enter and I get some more lines. I can go to the home tab. Um, this time I might want to actually do something different. So for example, if I select uh, and highlight um, this particular text here, I can just click on that and I've highlighted a piece of text within my note. Um, and there's a whole host of various different options that you can do from inside here, um, or the home tab, I should say, including tagging certain notes, etc. Um, so it's just quite important that um, you guys kind of find a style that works really well for you. Um, and make sure you kind of have your structure and everything else kind of set up so that you can basically start to um, dive into creating notes themselves. Um, fundamentally, there are a few things that you're going to want to consider um, when you start thinking about how you want to be taking notes. Um, the first is probably formatting. Everybody has a personal preference as to what kind of font, what kind of colors, um, and all of those kind of um, 
personal kind of quirks, I guess, that we all have that help us understand and digest what is written down on the piece of paper. So um, if you're kind of a very visually led person, you might want to start dropping in more images. And, you know, you can basically go to the insert tab here and use a screen clippings. And basically that lets you have any um, anything that's on your screen. You can capture that and drop it in here. So if someone has a uh, PowerPoint presentation open uh, or a slide from a lecture um, or even just a snippet from Google, you can just click on this tool grab it, drop it into your OneNote, um, and then that becomes there as well. Sometimes you might find that actually you want to have some pre-setups um, on your drawing tools. So each pen here, for example, um, has a different kind of color um, or thickness, etc. So that when you go through and actually start um, highlighting things in your notes that you have taken, you can do it at a click of a button once you kind of get everything pre-set up. Um, so formatting is definitely something that you're going to want to consider um, when you start taking notes for the first time. So you're going to want to kind of find what works for you and um, get everything kind of pre-set up so that it becomes very efficient when you start taking notes. Okay, so that's the first thing you're going to want to kind of consider um, when it comes to um, capturing notes in Microsoft OneNote. Um, the next thing that you're going to want to consider is um, how many containers you kind of want to be using. Um, some people want a literally a single container um, that they can just drop text into, but obviously that doesn't work for everyone. So for me, obviously in this very first note here, I grabbed and made a very big container, right? That kind of filled half the page. Um, but this little note here, it, uh, it you know, it's a very small container doesn't take up much space at all and the thing is these can all layer on top of each other um, so you can start to organize these containers however you see fit um, so just think about how you want to um, be using uh, those containers to your advantage as well um, sometimes a single container on a page is all you need um, but sometimes you might want to start to expand that a little bit further and use um, multiple containers for whatever reason you personally find it easier. Um, as I mentioned earlier on in the video, the third thing to really consider is um, the page size. Do you ever intend to print the notes that you are taking? Um, if so, you'll probably want to set up the page to be the specific size that you intend to print on. Um, and that will save you a headache later on when you have all of your notes on potentially an A3 page rather than an A4 page when you go to print it. Um, so think about those kind of things. And then the last point I'll just make here um, is all about kind of setting up your fonts and the ruled lines on the page um, and decide whether or not that is something that you're going to want to do. Um, as I say, there are plenty of options. I personally prefer to have the ruled lines, but um, you may find that actually um, grid lines is easier for you. Uh, it might be that actually, you know, you're taking notes that involve um, more around math than um, than they do particularly text, right, or something like that. Or um, if you work in um, a space industry, uh, such as macro space analysis or anything like that, in which case you might want grid lines to actually sketch out some of the uh, designs of movements of macro space, uh, etc. So there are some very clear points here to, to kind of understand which kind of page you might want. Do you want just a blank page? Do you want a ruled line page? Would you like grid lines on your page? Um, etc right so just because this is my personal preference doesn't necessarily mean it's yours and um, so do consider how you want your page to look as well um, and that is it guys that is just kind of a brief kind of top look at um, how you go ahead and take notes in OneNote um, and if you did find it useful please click on the like button hit subscribe and tap that bell uh, it means a lot to the channel and I will catch you guys in the next video